ordinarily, I'm very pro-travel. I consider myself a travel enabler, and I encourage people to go elsewhere in the U.S. and elsewhere abroad. And I think it's good for the traveler and good for the places that you go to. This is a different time. This is a big crisis, and I think this is a time to limit your travel. And there's a lot of factors you'd want to take into account before you want to uh, make a decision to travel or not. A lot of research has been coming out on jets specifically, and probably the risk on a jet itself is pretty low. If everyone wears a mask, actually jets have really good filters, and so there have been some cases of transmission on jets, but not that many given how many people fly. However, if you travel, there's also getting to the airport, hanging out in the airport, getting away from the airport and all the things that you do on your trip. What I would do with any traveler, and I've been doing this uh, with some folks going to foreign countries, is ask where are you going, what are you going to do there, what's your medical history, what's your tolerance for risk, and if they decide to go, then I can give some advice about bringing that risk down. The first would be research the heck out of your destination. As I say, with the counties being different in the U.S. and the countries being different on a country-by-country -country basis, there's no one general rule. So, so if I was going to a foreign country, I would go to that country's embassy site. I would also look at the CDC and see what their regulations are. So the first is research your destination. The other is consider your chronic medical conditions. People who are young and healthy uh, are less likely to become seriously ill, although rarely they can. But people who are older, people who have chronic conditions such as diabetes or obesity, they should lean maybe towards less socializing and more staying at home this year. Uh, when you travel by car, you have to stop and get gas. You have to stop and eat, and then you're going to stay somewhere. Similarly, the same measures will bring your risk down, wearing a mask, washing your hands, social distance, but no, it's not risk-free. Similarly with visitors, instead of having the family over at the holidays, maybe have two people over and consider sitting outside and wearing masks. So I really think that it's important to socialize less than usual in the flesh and try to find other things such as Zoom meetings um, that can make up for that to bring your risk down as much as possible.